What's inside, I cannot see. I'll open you up and set you free. What's inside, I cannot see. I'll open you up and set you free. Are the potions ready? Yes, here they are. Wonderful. I'll take one now. Give the rest out to each member of the coven. Thanks. For what? The potion, of course. I haven't given it to you yet. <laughs> Never mind. Here you go, Farseer. Here you go. Thanks, new witch. This smells great. I'll mix it up with some of my own stock when I get back to the bar. Here you go, adept. Appreciated. Plants certainly can be powerful, no? I always thought so. Just maybe not so... Literally. Here you go, herbalist. Thanks! I can get used to this new title. I've handed out the potions to everyone. Well then, all that is left is to drink your own. Tastes like grass. If you want to quibble over taste, speak to the journeyman next time. Thank you for all your help. I've been saving these for an emergency, but your propensity for trouble suggests you could use an emergency supply too. Dawn, dusk, morning, night. Hide this place from plainer sight. about the debate coming up? I sure did. I didn't think towns this small had political debates. Oh, trust me. Growing up in Fairhaven taught me that there's no town too small for local election drama. And, uh, speaking of drama, <laughs> I have an idea that'll make the debate unforgettable. Oh, this should be good. Let's hear it. Oh, I knew you'd be interested. I don't want to hurt Otto. Even though he's hurt my business by doubling liquor taxes, I just think it'd be good for the guy to eat a slice of humble pie. Which, if eaten before the debate, will make him cluck like the chicken he is. And you want me to make this humble pie, right? Yeah, but it's a special pie. It's got a potion. I know, dirty man. It was figurative. So, are you in? Why not? It'll be funny. Ah, uh, let's get to work, novice. You'll need bones? some silver essence, and a bake of pumpkin pie. Brew that up and bring me the drop. I'll take care of the rest. <laughs> you look upset. Is something wrong? I lost my sheet music. It's a disaster. Francis asked me to play a song for his wedding and I have to practice. When was the last time you saw it? Uh, I practiced when I was babysitting the twins, um, after they'd gone to sleep. 
Maybe Emmy and Finn know something? I if you see the sheet music, will you tell me? You better believe I will become the best sheet music detective. Um, okay. Do you have my paper yet? We have to get the word out about Fairhaven of the future. Yes, here it is. Thanks. Now, which side do you think I should use for the photo? My right or my left? I'm joking. I don't have a bad side. the items we need to make your first whirly gig? Yes, here they are. Great! Come back tomorrow and I'll have it ready. Inside, I cannot see. I'll open you up and set you free. Inside, I cannot see. I'll open you up and set you free. Is my whirly gig done? Yep, here it is. Um, it doesn't do much. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> I, I haven't powered it yet, silly. I'll deliver the whirly gig to your home free of charge. But you'll need a powered gem like this one to power it. Now this baby will do a great job, but he won't last forever. Different gems can hold different charges. If you bring me more, I can charge them so you can replace this one when it runs out. I can also make other kinds of whirly gigs for different tasks. Mm, but won't my neighbors notice that I have a magical device watering my crops for me? If anyone asks, just say you imported it from Europe. And people will believe me? Yeah! How else do you think Hazel ran the farm on her own all those years?
Natalia, we really appreciate all the time you've spent volunteering here at the Consciousness Center, but the real work now is to go into the community and try to bring more folks in. Uh, I've been doing that, Messenger. See, um, my friend, ah, Tara, she's here. Um, well, technically I, I came to find Natalia. I just need to talk to her about some smithing work. Huh. Well, she certainly is the person for that job. But come back again anytime. If you'll excuse me, I need to go prepare my next session. Can I tell you a secret? I'm trying to impress Messenger Cameron because <laughs> I have a bit of a crush on him. Of course, I doubt I'm alone in that. <laughs> I wonder what it would have been like to have been one of these miners. What does that silence mean? That I have nothing to say. Are you sure it didn't mysteriously end up with your stuff? That's silly. Emmy. Silly. What's black, white, and lets you play cool tunes? Uh... Cheat music! Juliet's ring a bell? N no Ben, be honest. What? I, I didn't take it! Emmy did! I don't even know how I know that. I didn't see her do it. And she'll be mad if she finds out I told! Don't worry. You did the right thing. I might have to step up my game. Maybe the coven knows of a magic solution to my problem. Journeyman, you wouldn't happen to know a spell to help me find something that's missing, would you? I do happen to know what you're looking for, to find what you're looking for. <laughs> you need to learn some scrying. Which is what? It's basically looking into a magic mirror and asking it to find stuff for you. It works on anything. People, possessions, whatever. Witches usually use pools of water because water has its own magical properties. A basin of water is best so you can more easily contain the spell. Build one of these scrying basins in your sanctum, and then pour this potion into it. Say the name of who or what you're looking for, and it'll do the rest. How's the, uh, debate drink special going? I'm working on it. Don't take too long. The debate's not gonna wait for a few practical jokers. Hey, Planty. Water some plants for me today? Hey, Feedy. Get to it. Oh, you don't have any feed or hay.
Hey, Feedy, get to it. Yes, again. Oh, I was fiddling with these wires, but it, it's so dang hard to get an electrical charge reading without my versorium. So, pfft, pfft, over and over. S sorry, without your what now? My versorium. It's an incantation-powered device that detects electric charges. I use it for everything. Charge up wires with magical energy and you've got dangerous currents on your hands. Except I haven't seen the Versorium since I last went into the mines. So you lost it? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Classic Zephyr. <laughs> hey, uh, if you see a little metal box covered in runes down there, uh, yeah, could you pick it up? Sure. As long as it doesn't spark my fingers off. Ariel, I need to ask you something about the mines. Ah, an exquisite habitat. What do you wish to know? Are you the one who drove it out of business? <laughs> ah, at last, someone figures it out. Yes. And did you hide all the keys, too? <laughs> Most certainly. But I just... why? The humans were making far too much noise. And the oars. They took and took. It hurt the animals that make the cave their home. The keys were a prank. A vicious one, true. But it worked. A lot of people worked in those mines. They had to leave once their jobs disappeared. Jobs, work, labor, blah. That's all humans talk about. Perhaps, if they didn't salivate over jobs, they would have left the caves untouched. I can't tell Giva what actually caused the mines to close. That is true. You do not want to incur the Coven's wrath. Or Perry's, I can tell you. Hi, Sophia. Good job, Astera. Have you seen Juliet? She was going to help me, but I can't find her, and I'm running out of time. We are not going to abandon all our family traditions because Giacomo is gone. I agree, Sophia. Family traditions are important. Let me help until Juliet arrives. Oh, that would be amazing. I I'm almost done. Just one or two more things to finish. Hey, Mom. Sorry I'm late. There you are. Well, I'm glad you made it back in time. Luckily for you, I had Tara to keep me company while I waited. Tara, will you join us? Oh, no thanks. I should get back to the farm. Good night. <laughs> The debate's coming up. Are you, uh, almost done with that brew? 
I have it right here. Hazel... Hazel would be so proud of you. You really think she'd be all right with this? Oh, yeah. When I was a kid, she gave the fairy Captain Bunny ears for a month because he was rude to Mama. Keep your eyes on Otto during the debate. 